And our first guest joins us via satellite from Reno, Nevada. Dr. John Whitney is the CEO of Itronics Incorporated, stock symbols ITRO. Uh, John, good to see you again. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, now, John, uh, we've been taking a look at your company. Uh, you know, we talked about this on the phone the other day, the better part of 10 years. Really interesting to watch your story. Uh, for those who are not familiar with you, of course, uh, you're, you're a recycling company. You take uh, hazardous photochemical waste, the uh, black liquid that's left over from the processing of pho photographs, and uh, you recycle this. So why don't you give us a general overview of the company, please? Yeah, we uh, have technology which we're commercializing that converts used photographic liquids into a line of high quality liquid fertilizers called Golden Grow and uh, pure silver, which are, is sold in uh, big bullion bars. And I've always been amazed by that. I mean, here we have this, this, uh, this hazardous waste goo, and it's really the best way to describe it. And of course, in the photochemical processing process, the silver sulfates, you're able to extract the silver sulfates, creating, as you mentioned, pure silver bars. Um, then you sell those. Uh, who do you sell those to? Well, we sell our uh, big bullion bars to the, uh, we have a couple of large refining and marketing companies that we sell the bullion to. And then we have a line of five ounce uh, silver bars. They're collector bars, uh, which we sell to the general public. Now, of course, these, uh, we're talking about pure silver. They're like 0.999% pure. I mean, this is high quality stuff can be used, you know, for manufacturing of jewelry and that type of thing, correct? Yes. In fact, our silver is now being considered um, environmentally green because it's produced primarily from photographic waste. That's amazing. Again, once again, Itronics Incorporated, I-T-R-O is the stock symbol. For more information, please give us a call, 888-259-4449. Uh, now, of course, you also mentioned the Golden Grow Fertilizer line. This is something that we've really seen develop over the years that we've been watching the company. Uh, what's the latest in Golden Grow? Well, the latest is our uh, fertilizer sales were up 50% in the third quarter of this year. 37% uh, in the first nine months. So those sales are developing very nicely. Now, I want to congratulate you on a piece of news that you folks released a couple of weeks ago. You were voted and awarded Nevada Green Company of the Year. Uh, tell us about that. That award was, it was um, uh, part of an inaugural award uh, program being developed by the Nevada Center for Entrepreneurship and Technology which is co-sponsored by the Nevada, State of Nevada Department of Economic Development. It's quite an honor. Uh, we were nominated by the College of Engineering at the University of Na Nevada for that, uh, for that award. Now, John, of course, uh, and I, you know, we've known each other for a while, and I know you to be a, a relatively modest individual, but uh, you're no stranger to accolades and awards. Uh, weren't you once or perhaps even twice um, awarded as a Nevada Inventor of the Year? Yeah, actually, uh, Nevada Inventor of the Year in 2000, and then uh, in 2007, Nevada Entrepreneur of the Year. Wow, congratulations once again. Itronics Incorporated, I-T-R-O is a stock symbol. For more information, again, our toll-free number is 888-259-4449. Now, John, um, we've spoken in previous programs about a new product that you have. It's, it's a deer repellent. Uh, and I find this really interesting uh, because why is a deer repellent so important to uh, agriculture? Well, it's really not as important to agriculture as it is to um, suburban America. In the eastern and northeastern part of the United States, deer have become part of the suburban landscape and uh, they do enormous damage to upscale homeowners uh, landscaping and the deer population doubles about every three years and it's just been growing by leaps and bounds because the deer in the suburban environment do not have a natural predator and so a, a deer repellent which is applied to the sh uh, landscape shrubs and trees uh, has the ability to keep the deer from eating and damaging and uh, so it's very very important it's a new market it's emerging and so we have an opportunity to be a leader in that uh, segment. 
So basically what we're talking about is uh, as, um, as homeowners are moving further and further out into what, what one time was wilderness, the deer are coming in, they're seeing the landscaping uh, as a food source. So this is applied to the landscaping. Uh, is, it, is it in any way, shape, or form harmful to the animals? No, the, it's a deer repellent fertilizer, a very interesting product. It has the ability to, um, re it, um, it's a systemic, which means the character is taken into the plant, the repelling traits, and they fertilize the plant, and the deer don't like the taste or the smell of the plant, uh, so it does not harm the deer, and it actually benefits the plants, which is a very, very nice outcome. Now, I think you touched on this a moment ago, but I think it bears uh, uh, being repeated. Um, you announced significant sales increases recently. Uh, can you outline that for us, please? Yeah, our sales in the first nine months of this year were uh, 2.4 million uh, without uh, our photochemical silver concentrators last, uh, compared to last year's uh, total year sales of 2.3 million. So, big increase, and last year we had a photochemical silver concentrator sale in the third quarter. This year we had a sale of a similar size machine in the fourth quarter. So our sales this year uh, will probably exceed $3 million, up from 2.3 last year. So a pretty nice increase. You know, John, every time I research a company and check into what you're doing, I'm always amazed by the fact that you're paid to accept this photochemical waste for recycling purposes then you're able to uh, extract the silver from it to create silver bars which you sell and then of course you've now developed a complete line of environmentally safe uh, fertilizer products which you also sell. It seems like everyone you do business with is actually your customer. That's correct. It's a pretty nice business model. It's really strong. As our sales increase uh, the company will become, well actually we're showing increasing profitability now at the gross profit level and it's a good thing. It's a win for our customers all the way around. The people that generate the waste, uh, the people that buy the silver, and then the folks that purchase the fertilizer. So it's just a win for everybody. Now, John, of course, uh, we're talking to you via satellite from Reno, Nevada, where the company is headquartered. Uh, tell us about your facilities in Reno. We have a three-and-a-half-acre parcel of land. Uh, it's fenced, paved. On that we have a 35,000 square foot building and uh, part of the building is used for uh, the processing of the photographic liquids and manufacturing of fertilizer and then the rest is used for on-site storage. Now, of course, uh, as I was talking about at the beginning of the program, obviously the country and the world is going through some very challenging financial times. Uh, how's the company holding up during all of this? Well, I think if you look at the sales increases that we just talked about, I'd say the co company's doing very well. Uh, we're aligned with the times. We're selling fertilizer. People need to continue to eat. Crops have to be fertilized. Uh, we're selling silver because of the financial uncertainties in the marketplace today. There's been a big shift by consumers to the purchase of precious metals, silver and gold, uh, for safety purposes. And on the environmental side, the handling and, and disposition of the waste and the eliminating the waste stream puts us in, uh, positions us as a green company with clean technology. So a clean technology company aligned very well for the needs of the future. Once again, Itronix Incorporated, I-T-R-O, is a stock symbol. Uh, John, uh, why is this a good time right now as we get closing out 2008 to take a closer look at Itronix? Well, Itronix is emerging as a commercial company, and uh, we've got a good growth path going. Uh, we're reducing our operational losses as our sales increase, so we've got emerging profitability, and um, it looks like uh, there's plenty of demand for our services and products as we move forward. So it would seem like a good time for people to look at Itronix as a growth, as a growth company. Again, stock symbols ITRO and Tronix and Co Itronix Incorporated. Give us a call, 888 259 for free information in the mail. John, we're going to reinitiate coverage of the company this week. Be watching you very closely going into the first quarter of